have one nearby if you feel good now, but it starts to hurt later. So I'm gonna grab one for myself. And if you see me keep glancing up in that direction, it's because I have you all on uh, the TV so that I can see what you're doing and we can actually feel like we're in a class together. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to start putting that too in my projector. I'm going to start putting it in the wall as well. Yeah. yeah. I can do it now. Yeah. Uh, we might be joined later by some people. Uh oh. <laughs> my cat wants to eat my, my class. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Catherine, you can start anytime, okay? I'm gonna mute everybody, so it's all yours. Okay, well, um, I see some familiar faces and some new faces, so if you weren't here last week, welcome. Um, and if you haven't taken a gram class before, that's totally fine. Um, the feedback that I got last week was that uh, I should probably take it a little slower, maybe explain things a little bit more. So this is gonna be a very, very basic class. We're gonna be repeating things a lot of times. Um, but the idea is that hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable in the movements by the end of it. And uh, if you have any questions, write them in the comments and Diego or Ruben will let me know and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is called the bounces. That's how we start uh, our ground classes. You're going to put the soles of your feet together. You're going to put your hands loosely on your wrists or your shins, depending on your um, proportions. And what you want to be careful about is while you're here, you don't want to be pulling on your uh, on your ankles to get a straight back. You want to make sure that your shoulders are above your hips. So this is, this is the, the starting position. And then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna contract, which is really, I talked a lot about this last week, but the contraction is something that is absolutely fundamental in um, the Graham technique, contraction, spiral, and release. And a contraction, I was trying to think about a way to visualize it for you guys because I'm not there to like actually pull on you in different directions. Um, but one thing that I was thinking about was if you think about a wheel, the circumference is always gonna be longer than the diameter. And so when you're standing up straight, think of yourself as the diameter of a circle. And then when you contract, you're trying to curve and stretch out your spine so that it actually gets longer, not shorter. Just something to think about. So here we are, back in our starting position. We're gonna contract and we're gonna pulse forward for, can you play the music please? Sure. First, I believe. First track? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's it. I just wanted to hear the tempo. So we're gonna do eight bounces forward. So the bounces is that idea of you're completing the circle with your head at your feet, but you're not just going like this. You're actually going up and over and you're gonna bounce for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then your release is gonna start in your lower back, actually in your pelvis. And you're gonna release in two counts. You're gonna go one, two. Now this is the spot where you can actually kind of pull a little bit just to make sure that like from the crown of your head all the way through your sits bones is one line. So that's one, two. We're gonna come up one, two, shoulders over hips. We're gonna extend our legs in front. I'll come back facing you three, two, and then on four, two, we're gonna open our legs to second. This isn't about, you know, like cranking your middle splits. This is, I think I'm barely past 90 degrees here and your arms are gonna be directly over your legs. Make sure you're not turning out. You're not turning in either, but you want your knees 
to go straight up at the ceiling. You want the tops of your feet straight up at the ceiling. So this is four, four. And then you're gonna flex your feet and contract and you're gonna bring everything forward. Actually, no, you don't flex your feet. Some people flex their feet. I don't flex my feet. And you're gonna do eight bounces. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same transition. One, two, through the spine. One, two, bring it back in front of you. Three, two, and then four, two, you're just gonna flex your feet. Another eight bounces. One, two, one, two. You're gonna turn it out on three, two, bringing your arms to second. And you're gonna bring your uh, left foot in front with your ankles crossed, make sure your heels are lifted and your shoulders, again, staying over your hips. And you're gonna bring it four, two. And we're gonna do breaths on two um, until the music is done. So I believe that's going to be four or eight of them. Um, so again, we're gonna start hands on ankles or shins. Contraction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, one, two, up two, two, out three, two, open four, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, one, two, up two, two, legs front, two, and flex, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For this one, really feel, I was talking to David Chase about this the other day, where feel like there's a pull right here and you have your feet propped against it and you have your hands around it. And when you're pulsing, what's happening is your, your belly button is trying to escape out your back. And so that's the feeling in uh, this position so that you really get that lengthening feeling. So you're gonna do eight bounces, release, two, come up, two, turn out, two, cross your ankles and relax into another contraction. This time you're gonna soften your neck a little bit. And we're gonna do the breathings. One, two, exhale and contract, two, two. One, two, exhale, two, two. And we're gonna keep doing that and you can just follow me um, until the music is over. It's pretty straightforward. Are you ready to start? Can I get some thumbs up? Thank you. Wonderful. And there's gonna be a four count introduction. I'm using ballet music this time because I feel like most of the people on this platform are a little more familiar with that kind of intros. Okay. Thank you very much, Maestro. Two, three, four, contract. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, one, two, hips. Extend front and open. Contract, open. Extend. Bring it forward and flex your feet. Contract one. Point your toes straight and up. Bring them out with your arms and ankles. Cross. Let's breathe. Really breathe here. Okay. How is that for everyone? Sorry about that. Um, so make sure when you're breathing, I remember when I was first learning it, I was doing the the, ac the action of it, but I was holding my breath the whole time. The whole reason it's called the breathing is you're gonna feel the breath coming up to your chest and your neck and out, and then you're gonna feel it leave all the way down. It's like you're emptying everything out, and then you're filling yourself up again, and then you're emptying it out. So it's kind of like, a, you know those, um, 
those car dealership things that like stand in one place and they like go and I'm falling over. But yes, that is uh, that's what we really want to think about is it comes down and then goes whoop, and then it breathes out. Lots to think about in Graham. So it's very simple, but it's it's a thinker. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do breathings on four. We're gonna do this eight times which is going to feel like a lot, but it's really, it's dark really and dark. Dark. so, oh, sorry. It's dark and dreary outside. So we're just going to really find ourselves and breathe on four. So the breathing on four is you're going to start in that same contraction with a softened neck, gaze down. Your fingertips are just touching and you're going to come up in two, like for the breathings on two, and then your chest is gonna go straight up to the sky. Three, four. And you can also, if this is really hard on your back, you can also put your hands here and press up. And then you're gonna come back, just the head, then the chest, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do that eight times and that's it. Track two? Uh, yes. Oh, and at the la after the last um, one, instead of coming down, I'll, I'll remind you guys so you don't have to remember it. It's a long thing to remember. Um, we're gonna come up and then we're gonna bring the arms up and open and we're gonna stay in high release. And we're going to hold it and our chest is going to be shining straight up. And again, my chest isn't forward. It's straight up here. So there's like a line from straight down my tailbone through my chest and to the ceiling. And I'm not doing this either because that completely cuts off all breathing. So ankles crossed. Really feel your sit bones. Don't grab in your hips. That's a weird feeling to have your heels up but, and not like, I don't know what the word would be there. Not sticking your butt out, even though you want to be in a neutral spine. Okay, fingertips. And we're going to breathe out. Three, four. Four, five, and let it go. Your chest. Off to center. Exhale. trying to feel every little muscle as I'm doing like the undulations. So 
Was that good? Did you guys uh, feel a little bit more this time? Because okay. yes, you wanna say yes. Okay. Um, let me check my my class book. Here we go. We are going to do spirals on three. So last time we did spirals on three and on six, but this time we're just gonna do spirals on three, but the difference is the first time we do it, we're gonna do it without a contraction. So you're gonna just start with, again, that same ankles crossed position, left foot on top, and your hands are going to, well, it's really your wrists are gonna be on your knees. Your hands are gonna be completely extended out. So they're not relaxed. Your arms aren't hyper extended, but they're, there's energy through them and your shoulders are gonna be over your hips. And we're gonna start with this hip. I don't know which one that is for you, but oh, double camera angle. Um, we're gonna shift there and then it's gonna go up your spine to your shoulders and then all the way up to the head. And your hands are gonna stay here. That's happening in three counts. So one, two, three, come back. One, two, three, other side. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna do that four times. We're gonna do it to the left, right, or right, left. Um, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna add the contraction. So after this last side, we'll be here, and it'll be one, two, and you're gonna contract on three. Three. And then you're gonna go up. It's the same thing, but you're also gonna be releasing at the same time. So one, two, three, stay and release. Two, contract three. One, two, three, one, two, contract three. And you're just gonna do that again. Two, three, one, two, contract three. One, two, three, one, two, contract three. I believe that's it. Yes. So we're going to do it four times for each of them. Yes. And then if we're feeling fancy, we might switch it and do the same exact thing with our other foot in front so that you're, you don't get uneven. Okay. Here we are. We're going to have our wrists on our knees, arms out, lots of energy up through the spine, shoulders over hips. And seven, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, like a character. We're very sassy. We've been almost down. We were lifting up so much. Maybe raise an eyebrow at the camera. Three. Sarah, I'm gonna put you guys on the spot for a second. Um, make sure that when you're um, 
I could, I could see the length in the fingers and that was really beautiful and I saw all of this. Make sure when you're breathing out that the neck is collapsing as a response to the back. So my gaze is down, but I'm not dropping my head. So it's, it's a little bit more, it's, there is the curve and there's the indication of it going forward. And the more you contract, it could go all the way, but it's not like the bounces where you're like bending forward. Could you spotlight ooh, Flory for me? Very nice. Now go into the contraction. Beautiful, stop there. Yeah, see how you got there and then your chin kept going. So make sure it's gonna feel for a while like your head is stiff because it's not, this, you're not moving your cervical spine quite as much as you would for ballet. So it's gonna just relax forward. It's just the spine. Yes, beautiful. And everyone notice how she keeping, she's keeping her shoulders down and they're also staying over her hips. That is very important. When you're doing the contraction, you don't wanna bring your shoulders up. You want it to stay lengthened. That's a big thing that often happens when people hear contraction. They think of this. And that is a contraction, but it's not the contraction we're talking about. That's like a, that's more choreography. This is more just in the spine and making space. Because as soon as you do this, you're losing space. Anyways, okay. So we're not gonna repeat that again. Um, instead, we're gonna add our development. And so you're gonna start same position here, but you're gonna start in contraction. So essentially this comes after, we do this usually as a whole combination and last week we did it as a whole combination, but we're gonna do it separately. So here you're gonna start and you're, it's gonna be a colonnade. So you're gonna move on one and three. So it's gonna go one, two, up, three, one, two, can you play it for me, please? I had it just a second ago. Lower. Okay, so in one count, you're gonna be here, one, two. So that's a spiral and your arms are gonna to come to first position. It's not quite like a placed first, like in ballet, it's more of a response to your lats. So if your hands are kind of relaxed, that's okay. Sometimes you'll see me kind of do like hands and arms like this. That's because I'm really trying to feel it more in my upper arms and in my back. Anyways, so we're here. So one, two, we're gonna extend the leg straight out to where it was when we were doing our um, pulses. Two, three, and we're gonna be shoulders in line with hip, in line, and our head directly through our elbow. We're gonna open the arms, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, that's another spiral coming back, one, two, three. That was the wrong counts. But we're gonna do one, bump, 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 bump. And you're gonna keep doing that four times. And then we're gonna add a step through. So you're gonna start the same way. One, two, three. One, two, pitch forward. And then you're gonna step on this front foot. And your arms are kind of gonna stay, or your arms are spiraling with your butt. So you're stepping on this foot and you're pulling back in your hip. It's a lot more difficult to explain than it is to show. So pulling back in that hip, you're just gonna sit through. And again, this is a straight line. You can see my arm is back here. It's not supposed to be, sorry. And then you're gonna pull back and pitch. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
I believe that's, you'll hear it in the music. <laughs> I apologize for my funky counting. I was trying, I'm trying to slow it down a bit for you guys and the, the counts for a gram class tend to be a lot sharper. And so I wanna give you guys a chance to actually feel some of the moments. Okay, feel free to follow along with me. If I see you glancing up at the screen, I won't yell at you, I promise. Okay, here we are, contraction back, soft eyes, arms extended, ankles crossed, heels up, and four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, two more times, three, open, one, two, four, three, One more time. Four, five, six. Into the fifth. Now step and go back. One, two, three, four, four. Five, six, up. One, inch, four. One more time. Um, could you put Lily back on the screen for a second? There you go. Sorry. There she is. There she is. Hi. Hi, Lily. That was, uh, could you do a pitch front for me really quickly? That is too far. Yeah, no, I, I, I used to do the same thing because we're all like about trying to get like maximized. It should just be, like think of a 45 degree angle, your back is still straight and your arms are more, think like a swan or demi-second. Yes, no, 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 back, back a little bit. There, perfect. And really, really feel your fingers out. Long, 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 beautiful. Yes, that's excellent. Yes, Sarah, that's beautiful. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do the other slide now. Sorry for the counting. So we're one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, up three, four, five, six. And then when we're stepping through, we're getting one, two, three, hold four, five, six. This is on one and this is on four. So just keep counting to six and eventually you'll we'll all be together, hopefully. So right foot in front. Wrists on knees, arms out straight, and we're gonna be in a contraction, soft eyes, and. Four, five, six, one, two, up, three, open, four, five, six, one, two, three, pitch, four, five, six, hip, one, two, open, three, four, five, six, one, two, up, three, four, five, to see. Okay. Um, if you're feeling it in your hip flexors, you can do a nice little stretch here. I would always feel it there because, you know, I'm getting older and 
all the joints are getting tight. Okay. So now we're going to do deep stretches. Very simple, not easy. So we're going to do our second position. Toes are pointed. When I do a second position in Graham specifically, as you can see, I do have hyperextension, but I really try to keep both the back of my legs and my heels on the floor so I can feel like my whole leg there. Because as soon as I do this, everything goes straight up in my quads and I start gripping. So keep that in mind. Second position for the arms. For the first two counts, we're gonna do a contraction, which in second position, you contract with the pelvis. And for deep stretches, you actually look up at the sky. So think of it as like a high release and a contraction at the same time. Sounds really counterintuitive, which is why it's a stretch. It's supposed to be doing everything in every direction all at once. So we're gonna do one, two, the um, energy is coming out of the palms of my hands. It's making a gram hand. That's how this happens is kind of like Spider-Man. I mean, that analogy last week where you all the energy is shooting out that way so we're doing one two we're going to go into that same position we did in the bounces two two where you're really trying to create a massive circle here where your head is connecting down to the floor and then you're going to release two up two and then we're going to add a spiral so this is the same this is the same. And then your right hip is gonna go back. Your right elbow is gonna go back with your shoulder. And you're gonna lean out on this axis. And you're gonna come back up. Still in the spiral, but no longer on the pitch. And then you're gonna do the other side. And then on and, you're gonna bring your arms up here. And this is just like, think of it almost like, two 90 degree angles. It's not trying to be pretty. It's supposed to just be like a, you just really need to feel it in your lats. But don't do that. Just make a lovely position. Then you're gonna do another contraction. This one looks like this from the side. And then you're gonna come forward and your arms are gonna be parallel with the ground. And you're gonna release and you're gonna come up. One, two, 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 and you're gonna spiral with it. When you spiral, the, um, the direction that you're going towards, your hand is gonna go slightly in front. I realized I didn't explain that last time. So from here, you're gonna notice I'm not, my hands aren't here anymore, they're here, because I'm spiraling so much. And then I come back and it's still there. And then here, to the other side. And then here. And then we're gonna repeat the same pattern, front, side, side. And then the final one is just feet together. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two. And so you're gonna finish with your hips spiraled and your shoulders are in line with your knee, your hands are on your ankles and or shin, and your head is directly over your shoulder, and that's where you're gonna finish. Okay, so the counts are, there's two counts for every movement. One, two, over two, two, release three, two, up four, two, one, two, over two, two, spiral release, two, up four, two. Then to the other side, two, two, one, two, one, two, and then change the arms. You can watch me as I do the developments. It always took me, it took me a long time to remember which developments came next. Also, if you wanna just do them all here, or even if you just want to put your hands on your knees and just really focus on 
your uh, pelvis and your spine and not have to worry about where the arms are going, that's totally okay. There's no yudging in this class. Okay. Oh, sorry. Starting in alsacon, feet pointed, not too wide. Hands alsacon. Uh, it's the uh, adagio. Six, seven, eight. Contract one, two, over, two, release, two, up, shoulders over hips. <sighs> Over. And spiral. Keep it spiraling all the way up through your head. Over. Spiral. stuff. Make sure, um, and this was something I got told a lot, um, when you're going, here I'll try to do it where this is directly side for me, uh, when you're doing the extension to the side, what's, what you really want to do is you want to kind of do it forward and to the side, because like if you look, whoop, you look this way, that looks like you're going to the side, but in actuality, your leg is behind you. So really, really try to open this opposite shoulder and be almost like back. And it's hard, it's very hard. My other leg is shaking. Um, and you really wanna make sure that when you're doing it, this sit bone is still on the ground. You don't want it to go like that. So really, if you, um, one of the exercises we would do is we would take our opposite hand and we would wrap it around. And if you can, you would put your hand on your leg. Not everyone has crazy shoulders like I do. So if you bring your arm just behind your back and almost think about reaching your toes with this hand, that is the extended spiral position. Yes, Daniel, that's beautiful. Oh, very nice, very nice, Lily. Damn, you have a very flexible spine. That was beautiful. 
Okay. Um, how are you guys feeling? Excellent. I like thumbs up. Thumbs up are good. Okay. We're going to do one of my favorites, which is going to open up those hips nicely. It's turns around the back. So put your feet in front of you in parallel, and you're going to turn onto your hip, and they're going to stay in parallel. You're going to take your top foot. Oh, hello, puppy. Um, you're going to keep your hips in line, bend your back leg, set it on the ground, and you're going to go into what we call fourth position. And this is at 90 degrees. Your heel is in the same line as your knee. So this is a nice little square here. If this is not a position that your knee can handle or your hip can handle, you can keep your foot out front. It's not gonna affect the movement that's happening in your spine at all. So you're gonna start fourth position, arms or with the palms up initially, and you're gonna do, you guessed it, you're gonna spiral straight up and down, and you're gonna go back and try to see, I'm gonna try to see out my hallway just to see if I can see the front door. That's how far I want you guys to be spiraling. And then the first thing that, that's gonna move is this, your hip. So let's go, hip, waist, and as I'm going this foot point, shoulders, then the head is the last thing to move. Hips, waist, shoulder, head. And as I'm going, this palm, the palm that I'm turning towards is up, and this one will turn down. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna do it with no arms four times. On the last time we come around, one, two, three, arm and head are up on four. We're just gonna do one arm. One, two, three, four. And that's not going here. This is still, if you look at me from the side, it's directly in line with my shoulders. And the way you want to bring it around is by spiraling your back, not by bringing your arm around. So we're here. One, two, three, and head. And then as you come back, you can kind of leave it here. You can actually go down like this. One, two three, four, it trails behind almost. So when, when we end up eventually doing it faster, it'll look kind of like seaweed, except it's a lot more controlled and not, yes. I don't know what I was trying to say there. So one, two, three, head four, one, two, three, head four. We're gonna do that, that one four times. This. Then we're gonna add the other arm. One, two, three, head four. 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 How are we so far? Goodish. So we're gonna do four around the back, no arms. Four around the back with one arm. Then we're gonna do four around the back with two arms. And then, just because I trust you guys, we're gonna go. One, two, three, head four. We're gonna pitch forward in fourth position. So that's the same position that Lily and I were talking about earlier. Um, and you're gonna be spiraling, looking over. And then you're gonna come up and you're gonna keep spiraling and it's almost like a, like a plea. You're going, why are we stuck inside? And this arm's gonna go straight up. It's not there, it's not there. It's straight up to the ceiling and you're still looking over. And then you're gonna contract back and spiral at the same time. So you're back over this way. You're still in spiral. And then you're gonna release, which is gonna drive your hips forward into a pseudo arabesque. And then you're gonna come back. One, two, three, four. So you're back here on four. Same thing, except you're coming around in two counts instead of four because you were coming back for the first two. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Over one, two. Contract three, four. And one, two, three, four. And that's where we're going to finish. Okay, one more time. We're in fourth position, arms in second. One, two, three, head four. One, two, three, head four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, arm up. One, two, three, four. Just one arm. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two arms. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to go one, two, three, four. Pitch one, two. Spiral up three, four. Over one, two. Contract two. One, two, three, four. Come back. One, two, three, four. Over one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. That was very nice, Fiona. I could really see your hip going forward for that release. Okay, you ready? And don't worry, if you don't get it to the to one side, we're, we have to do it to the other side too. So here we go. Sit on both sits bones. If you can't have your knee tucked up, um, Fiona, make sure that your knee is actually almost like it should be perpendicular. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Um, yeah, everyone's looking very nice. Okay, spiral. Actually, Flory, you're, you're, I know you're really flexible, but bring your knee in. Yes, that one. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, if you're facing your knee, it's like a, yes. And then this one's on a 90 degree angle with that one. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. on the other side, which is we're doing two, no arms, two with one arm, and then four with two arms, and then two with the final pitching. I'm sorry, that was confusing. Grab some water. It just sounded right to me in the music, but I was incorrect. Shake out your legs. Okay. Set up for the other side. Roll on your hip. Knee back. Fourth position. And spiral over your shoulder. And. Okay. 
hip, face, shoulder, head, hip, waist, shoulder, head, hip, waist, shoulder, head, hip, waist, your arm floats up. One, two, three, four, four. Add your other arm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Waist, shoulder, head, hips, waist, shoulder, head. Two more times here. One. Head. Now we're going to add on two, three, four, pitch, one, spiral, and over. Contract back and release. Really keep going and one, two, three, four, pitch. Let's go up and over. Oh, that was beautiful, you guys. Very, very, very nice. Okay, so we're getting to the end of class here. Um, so I'm going to do long leans which I always felt made me much more flexible. I don't know if it's true or not, but it feels really nice. So remember we were talking about where my hand was behind my back and I was reaching out like this. That's what the same kind of feeling you want in the long leans. So you're gonna bring your arm up and your knee's gonna bend and your foot is gonna flex. One, you're gonna spiral. Two, and you're gonna lean out three, and you're gonna hold four. And then you're gonna do the other side. One, spiral two, out three, four. If you notice my head is, this is like the one moment where you can really kind of do a plumber. Your head is almost behind your arm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna do it eight times in two counts. One, two, 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 and then we're gonna do four in the slower counts going straight forward. So that's pitch one, two, high release, one, two, one, two, high release, one. Kathleen, we don't see you, your camera turn off. And uh -oh. then we, we just saw a beautiful photo of you guys together. Of, <sighs> and of Ruben hey, look at this camera right here. Wait, uh, I'll fix that. Just, just yes, it, perfect. Oh, you got it? I no, guess. I think, but now, now we can see Catherine too. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're doing once. We are showing center. So that's one, two. I release one, two. One, two, high release, one, two. That's four times. And you're gonna finish in the high release, the fourth high release, chest up to the sky, as high as you can go. I have a very short waist, so when it looks like I'm doing a high release, it looks like I'm not lifting up. I promise you I'm lifting up. <laughs> okay. You get lost, just look at the camera and mirror me. It's the same thing over and over again, so you'll be able to catch it. Yes. So arms in a second. Here we go. Seven, eight, one, two, three. One, and two, one, and two, one, 